Hi, I'm Pat, and today I'm going to give you an introduction to open D tuning for Weizenborn, Dobro, Lap Steel, or any six string instrument really, because you can tune any six string instrument to open D. The only difference would be the gauge of strings you'd use, and that would be specific to each instrument. If you use a Dobro tuned to GBD, GBD, basically you can stick with the same gauge of strings you use, which is usually 16, that is a 0 0.016 for the first string, up to 0 0.056 for the thick string. Um, that being said, if you feels a bit too loose after you tune down your dobro to open D, you might want to try a slightly ever gauge of strings. But you know, I think the same gauge of strings that you use with um, your regular GBD editing should be fine to start off with. Now, for Weizenborn, the important thing to remember is to be careful about the string tension. As you probably know, a Weizenborn has a hollow neck and it won't tolerate any excessive tensions uh, you would get with the tuning like GBD GBD or uh, an extra heavy gauge of strings. You know, it's more designed for slacky tuning like open G or open D. Slack key meaning you loosen the strings compared to a standard guitar tuning. Now I'm using 13s on mine, that is a 0 0.013 for the first string up to 0 0.056 for the thick string and you can probably use heavier gauge of strings as well like thick strings that would be a 0 0.016 for the first string up to a 0 0.060 I guess for the sixth string but you know I would not recommend going above unless you really know what you're doing right um, just for info the brand I'm using right now are Martin SP4 200 force 4 bronze strings but you know this might change as well and I would recommend that you experiment with that too because uh, you know there is not one brand of strings or one type of strings that is better than uh, the other you know it's just a personal preference and what sounds best to your ears um, but anyway I put links on the websites about different type of strings you can use so that you can check it out a bit later uh, if you need more information okay let's go to a close-up now and I will show you how to tune your instrument okay so open D is D A D F sharp A D from the thickest to the thinnest string. D A D F sharp A D. First of all, if you're a complete beginner and are just getting started on how to tune your instrument, I'm using a clip on tuner. Right? There you go. So this clip on tuner. Uh, clips on the headstock of your instrument, but there are of course different options to tune your instrument uh, And I've made a, a few lessons on the Dobro section of my site where I talk about tuners, accessories and all that So you might want to check that out first. Now, let's start off by tuning the thick string You've got a low D Right? Then fifth string, you've got an A Then four string a G again. Which is one octave higher than this D. Right? Then for the third string you've got a F sharp. Then you've got an A for the second string. which is one octave higher than this A on the fifth string, right? And then you've got D again for the first string. Which is one octave higher than this D and two octaves higher than this one on the sixth string. So basically when you strum the open strings you cover, you cover two octaves, from this low D to this high D. Also notice how we've got three Ds on the sixth, fourth and first string. Two A's on the fifth and second string. And F sharp on the third string. Now, if you know a little bit of music theory, D, F sharp, and A are respectively the root, the third, and the fifth 
of a D major chord. So if you strum the open strings, you get a D major chord, right? Now, what you might notice as well is when you strum this open D chord, is that it, it sounds a little bit out of tune, and the reason is this note, F sharp, which is the major third of your D major chord, needs to be a little bit flat to sound more in tune with the other notes. So what I would recommend is to, is to tune down your third string just a little. And with my clip-on tuner, I tune it down, you know, just a notch or two. Let me tune it down just a bit. Now, it sounds like the, the F sharp blends a little bit better with the other notes and make your, your D major chord um, sound more in tune, right? And if you can't hear any difference or, you know, if that's totally confusing for you right now, uh, then I would recommend that you skip this for now. But, you know, keep this in mind, that your F sharp, your, your, your major third, the, the third string, uh, needs to be tuned down just a little bit and you know maybe in a few in a few weeks or months when your ears improve you might want to try that again okay so let's get back to our tuning as i've said we've got d a d f sharp a d which makes uh, a d major chord with root third and fifth uh, d being the root f sharp the third and a the fifth. So if I pick one string at a time, I've got root D, fifth A, root again D, third, major third, F sharp, fifth A, and root again D. Okay, so root fifth, root third, fifth, root. So three roots, one third and two fifth. The first benefit you can get from knowing that is when you learn the note names on each string, you can learn quicker by learning the notes on the thick string first, the D string. And once you do that, you'll also know the note names on the fourth and the first string, since that's also a D and also a D here. Okay, and then you can learn the note names on the fifth string, the A string, and you also know the note names on the second string, because it's also an A. And then you learn the note names on the third string, the F sharp, and you'll know the note names all over the fretboard. Okay, well that's pretty cool, I think. The other benefit from knowing this um, interval layout in OpenD, this root, fifth, root, third, fifth, root, or actually from knowing uh, the interval layout of any tuning you're working on, is to compare it to interval layouts you already know. And what we can do, for example, is to compare this OpenD tuning interval layout to a Dobro tuning interval layout, a GBD, GBD, uh, tuning uh, interval layout. With a GBD GBD Dobro tuning, as you probably know if you uh, um, come from a Dobro background, you've got um, root third fifth, root third fifth, right? Which gives uh, a G major chord when you strum the open strings, right? Well, you've also got this fifth root third fifth pattern in open D, but on the fifth, fourth, third and second string this time. So basically, moving everything down one string if you compare that to a Dobro tuning, okay? And of course, this is in the key of D and not in the key of G, like GBD, GBD tuning, but that still means that you can apply your GBD, GBD shapes, licks, and patterns uh, from, from strings uh, four, three, two, and one by moving them down one string to strings five, four, three, and two in open D, right? You could also uh, visual visualize open D tuning uh, as a GBD, GBD tuning without the lower third, you know, the fifth string, plus the root 
on the first ring. So you know that's something pretty cool to experiment with, I think, and and really a big deal because you know when you start practicing lots of different tunings, uh, it can quickly get really confusing and overwhelming at best. So you know if you memorize the uh, the interval layout of the new tuning you're working on first, and then compare that to previous tunings you've learned, it will start to make more sense actually, and it will also be um, much easier, easier and quicker uh, to understand how this tuning works and then apply things you've learned before from previous tunings. So, you know, if you want more info about this, you know, I've, I've written um, a thorough blog article on my site at um, uh, learningwithpad.com slash blog, you know, so feel free to check that out too. Okay, so hopefully you've got your guitar in tune now, and I also hope this introduction to Open D gives you some food for thought. I think there's lots of cool things worth exploring in this tuning, and you know, especially if you come from Dobro, you will find some similarities, but at the same time, it will open up a whole new world of possibilities. So, hope you have fun with that. Once again, I'm Pat with learningwithpat.com. Uh, if you dig what I do, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate the support, and uh, see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.